I got crisps in my teeth. Mmm. Hold on. Hold on. Mmm. Oh my god. I don't think my tongue is strong enough. I think I'm gonna have to go in with a finger. <laughs> I was tagged by Becky O to do the political questions tag. I'm quite nervous because I've never directly spoken about politics before on my channel. And I have a lot of opinions. And I'm probably gonna get angry. But hey, whatever I say, whether you agree or disagree, please leave your thoughts in the comments because this is meant to be a discussion. I live in the UK, so my experiences and opinions are gonna be based on UK politics. What don't you like about politics? How long have we got? The parties don't differentiate themselves anymore, they're all the same. There are way too many career politicians, and even if a politician does care about the people who voted them in, they're not the ones in the real positions of power. Our voting system, first past the post, is absolute bullshit. A party can receive less than half of the national vote and be in power. What? Michael Gove and his education policies. We have a representative democracy, which means we vote MPs in and then they make decisions on our behalf. So when there's a really crucial, controversial issue, the government then does a referendum and makes the country vote on it, being like, oh, hey, look, we're giving you a voice. No, you're just trying to do that so that if it goes one way or another, you blame us for the outcome rather than taking responsibility yourselves. The Lib Dems lied. A lot of politicians lie. There's way too much emphasis on image rather than policies anymore. What would you change? Well, obviously a benign dictatorship with me as leader. This is the thing, and I think a lot of my friends have the same issue, is that we hate the current system, but we don't know any good alternatives. And I just want people to care more. I want first past the post changing. That's like the first thing. Preferably to something like proportional representation or a hybrid like AV. Please, I just spat. This is how passionate I am about this. Why should people register to vote? It's okay, Hannah. It's okay. Because people died for your right to vote. And I know that the counter argument is that not voting is a form of protest because you're not happy with any of the options on the ballot paper. But when you don't vote, the government just see all of these people who don't vote, and so they're not going to create policies that are aimed at you and that you're like because they see you as this apathetic group that don't vote, so what's the point in creating policies that you'll like? A form of protest is voting and then spoiling the shit out of that ballot paper. When you spoil the ballot, you're no longer lumped into this group of people who could be protesting, who could just be apathetic, or who could have just forgotten to vote. By spoiling, you're demonstrating that you're unhappy. So if protesting is your reason to not vote, then spoil the ballot. If you genuinely don't give a shit, whatever, I can't force you to vote. But people died! I hope something of what I said made sense to you. Please do leave your thoughts on this topic in the comments. I can't wait to read them and give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to tag Tyrannosaurus Lex, Ashley Mardell, and Marina Shut Up. Throw some Americans in there because I want to know what you think of the American political system. Do you hate it? Do you hate it?